While canola processing capacity on the prairies continues to grow, that's with the confirmation of another crush plant to be built near the U.S. border in southeast Saskatchewan. Well, host of Real Ag Radio, Sean Haney, joins us now with the latest insight on that effort. And Sean, as always, thank, for, thank you for your time this morning. So who's building this facility? And of course, what are the details you can share? Yeah, Jenna, great to be with you here this morning. So this is big news for growers in Canada and the U.S. Of, of canola. So Series Global Ag is planning to build this canola crush facility and refinery beside its existing terminal and international rail crossing southeast of Estevan, Saskatchewan, which is at Northgate. The facility has an estimated price tag of $350 million U.S. It'll have capacity to process 1.1 million tons of canola annually, producing more than 500,000 tons of canola oil each year. Two-thirds of the, of the canola will come out of Canada, and one-third will come from North Dakota and Montana. And how is this facility strategically located? Well, really, it, it, it has to do with the location to the, to the U.S. border. So Series President and CEO Rob Day, Robert Day, in an interview with Real Agriculture, says they've considered building a canola crushing facility at Northgate for several years due to the competitive advantage of location on the U.S. border. Uh, Day said, what makes it unique is it is directly connected to the BNSF Railroad. So this will give us an opportunity to originate canola, crush it there, and then the products go outbound on the BNSF Railroad directly into the U.S. market or to U.S. ports. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. And what's driving the spur and expansion for crush capacity, specifically for canola? Yeah, so as with the oil, direct access through the BNSF network will also be able, will be an advantage for shipping meal to the dairy feed market and other users in California and Mexico and potentially Mexico and Texas. The, the other part of this too, of course, is the excitement around things like renewable diesel. And as we see uh, states and uh, provinces, or in the case of the clean fuel standard here in Canada, as uh, governments start to legislate and move policy towards uh, trying to lower the carbon intensity of fuel, there is a lot of excitement when it comes to renewable diesel and Series Global Ag definitely willing or wanting to capitalize on that movement. All right. Well, Sean, as always, thank you very much for your insight. Always appreciate it. Again, host of Real Ag Radio, Sean Haney, connecting with us on the phone out of Canada here this morning. Of course, you can connect with Sean this afternoon on his show, Real Ag Radio. It airs Monday through Friday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern weekdays, Rural Radio 147 on Sirius XM. Of course, we'll chat with Sean again on the Market Day Report tomorrow morning.